Please welcome Dita Tsetsche, Chairman of the Board of Management of Daimler AG and Head of Mercedes-Benz Cars. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Et bienvenue au Mondial de l'Auto, qui fête son 120e anniversaire cette année. Here's the EQC, the very first Mercedes EQ model. It's our answer to the question, what should an electric Mercedes be like? And it's a special moment to open this show today with this car. Two years ago, and three days, I stood here in Paris, right on this stage, and introduced CASE, our strategy for the mobility of the future, along with EQ, our brand, for an all-electric future. On top, we also unveiled our bold concept EQ show car. And we are delivering. The EQC is a promise hitting serious production. So what is this promise all about? It's about offering the next generation of true Mercedes models. As the firstborn of an entire family of exciting new electric cars, the EQC points the way into our all-electric future. We will keep everything our customers love about driving a Mercedes and embed it in an ecosystem of new services and features. All EQ models will fulfill the Mercedes promise of quality and safety at the highest level in the industry. On top, they will carry the Mercedes promise of excitement, the stunning acceleration, and a lot of fun on the road. And excitement is not just a matter of muscles. It's a matter of brains, too. Our EQ models will, for instance, feature the latest intelligence when it comes to connectivity and automated driving. I could go on to list many more brand promises, but instead, I just say, for us, electric driving is about the perfect package. And this package is 100% Mercedes. With the EQC, we now have an electric Mercedes that is a true alternative to a combustion engine powered Mercedes. So our customers get a fair choice when deciding which option best suits their everyday mobility needs. With this, the EQC is the first EQ model we sent out on our mission to tackle this number. 98.3% of customers in the European Union decided against buying an all-electric vehicle in the second quarter of this year. And we believe the best way to bring the share of all electric cars up is to start with the kind of cars people love most. One segment that's especially popular right now is mid-size SUVs. Over the past 10 years, we sold more than 1.6 million Mercedes mid-size SUVs. In other words, a lot of people around the globe appreciate precisely this category and format of a car. And that's at the first born of our EQ product offensive is a mid-size SUV. Looking ahead, we'll stick to the concept of bringing fair and competitive electric options to all our segments in the near future. One thing will hold true for all of them. Putting the EQ badge on a Mercedes won't come with any compromise in emotion, high-tech, or driving fun. Just the opposite. The boldest proof point for this is on stage with me today, the Vision EQ Silver Arrow. This electric maniac is what happens when you look away a few seconds too long and let the designers do their thing. And you know what? That's good. It's one of the reasons why I love working for this company. But let me underline, this is not our vision for upcoming serious cars. It's a mission statement. The Mercedes way of emission dropping will always remain jaw dropping. That's why it makes perfect sense to have this car on stage today. It's also a strong tribute to our long history in motorsports. A history closely intertwined with our history in France. In fact, the Mercedes brand was born on a French racetrack. In 1901, the very first Mercedes took part in the legendary Nice Race Week. It quickly went from zero to hero as it was the first car to cross the finish line because it dared to rely on an entirely new drive concept and an entirely new design. 
To us, that serves as a great inspiration to speed up the transformation to electric drivetrains and to honor our French connection. A brand that's already fueled by this ambition is smart. Any smart for two out on the road proudly holds dual citizenship, engineered in Germany, built in France. And from the very first design sketches, smart was meant to be an all-electric, revolutionary city car concept. This year, we celebrate 20 years of smart. And with that, 20 years of French-German manufacturing in our smart plant in Hambach. We'll count on this friendship and electric expertise in the future. We're also planning to build a compact Mercedes EQ model in this plant. It will be the first ever Mercedes to be manufactured in France. And it will expand our electric footprint in this great nation. In addition, we'll soon help make the city of Paris a bit more attractive, if that's even possible. Starting in January, Paris will be the fourth all-electric car-to-go city. We'll get started with a car-sharing fleet of 400 electric smart city cars, and we'll add another several hundred throughout 2019. Paris may soon become our biggest all-electric car-to-go city on the planet. Electric, emission-free, and shared cars make life easier in cities like Paris. That pretty much sums up the initial idea of smart, which is more relevant than ever. Even after two decades of growing up, it still pays off to stick to some craziness and unconventional ways of thinking. I can't think of a better way to celebrate 20 years of fresh ideas than with some of the most radical ideas all put together in one exciting smart show car. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Smart 4Es and our new head of smart, Katrin Att. Hi, Dieter. Hi, Katrin. Great to have you with us on stage as the new head of SMART. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Feels awesome to join the SMART team in these exciting times. These times are really exciting, I think. I mean, SMART is in the middle of a transformation to the first all-electric brand on the world, on the planet. So I would like to know what's first on your to-do list. Well, Dieter, I think the first priority should be to increase the production of smart electric cars in order to meet the extremely high market demands. Well, I think that's a really good priority to have, and I think you're absolutely the right person to have this endeavor. So welcome, and thank you very much to be with us. Thank you. Can't wait to get started. OK. Thank you. All the best. Bye. Take care. Thank you. And now, let's stick to compact car news but size it up a little bit. Coming up are some exciting world premieres from Mercedes-Benz. Mais l'espoir se brille 
suis qu'une fille de mon âge qui dégringole de la pente. Je n'ai qu'un œil dans la fente, je n'ai qu'un doigt sur la tente. Et si je rate le virage, j'inscris mon nom s'absente. Welcome, Rita Zega, member of the Board of Management of Daimler AG, responsible for Mercedes-Benz Cars marketing and sales. Mesdames et messieurs, Léa Fassi, merci beaucoup, c'était fantastique. Merci. Merci. What a great team to have here on stage, our team of the Compact Cars. We introduced our very first compact car back in 1997. The following year, France won for the first time the Soccer World Cup here in Paris. And with the all-new A-Class, we introduced the front runner of our new compact family earlier this year. A very good omen again for the French national team, as we now know. Our compact cars are champions too. Over the past two decades, more than six million members of our growing compact team have found their way onto the streets and into the hearts of our owners. More than half of their buyers in Europe drove a competitor car before joining our club. Here in France, our compacts were a major driver in making 2017 a record year for us. They accounted for about 50% of our local sales. No wonder we decided to expand our compact car lineup from five to eight models. And after an intense training camp, our new compacts are as fit and strong as never before. Just take these two new stars here. First up, our new A-Class sedan is the most progressive A-Class ever. And it's a world champion as well. It wins the trophy for best aerodynamics of any serious production car. The best part, this wasn't achieved at the expense of the passengers. With the headroom, and is the best in its segment. Even the tallest forward doesn't need to duck their heads. The next model in lineup is fast, it's agile, and it always delivers top performance. The A35 is our very own striker and the new entry into the world of Mercedes AMG. It's also a logical expansion of our portfolio. Since we introduced the first compact AMG model with the A45 in 2013, Customer demand surpassed our wildest expectation. It has been our most successful AMG model in France ever since. The A35 will build on this success. And now, to win a soccer match, you need to have a strong and flexible midfield. And that brings me to our all new B-Class. With over 1.5 million units sold since we first launched this model in 2005, it is a star on its own right. How will its new version score for our customers? First, it looks better than ever. And its fresh and also sporty design ensures the best aerodynamics in its segment. Plus, 
The B class come with a new interior design. Just look at the characteristic instrument panel. Goal number two, the new B class makes your life easier. We listened carefully to what our customer told us and adjusted our game plan accordingly. As a result, the new B class features better all around vision, more elbow and head space, and optimized trunk usability, among many other things. Of course, the B class now also comes with our MBUX. The young will love the its extensive capabilities, and the young at heart will love the fact that it's still extremely easy to use, and everybody will enjoy new features like our Mercedes Me Connect service for finding a parking space, for example. So, as you can see, the new B class is in a top shape, and it will also support your fitness and health. The seat moves ever so slightly to prevent you from sitting in one position for too long. This reduces the risk of back problems. In addition, this car now has an onboard coach. It analyzes the traffic situation, weather condition, and duration of travel to suggest a suitable energizing comfort program to make you feel good. And we are the first ones to combine such a feature with the use of vitals taken from your variable. As you would expect, it of Mercedes-Benz, we've also stepped up in terms of safety. The active safety system in our B-Class are at S-Class level. With the active brake assist, now also keeping an eye for crossing pedestrians and bikers. To sum it up, our new B-Class is a top player in our lineup. And the same goes for the next car coming up. More about this from Ola. Please welcome Ola Kalinius, member of the Board of Management of Daimler AG, responsible for group research and Mercedes-Benz cars development. Thank you, thank you, Britta, and Mesdames et Messieurs. Paris is a great place to talk about our upcoming model. Why, you might wonder? Because Paris is the city of love, and hardly any segment has received as much love from our customers recently as our Mercedes-Benz SUVs. We created the segment of premium SUVs the same year we launched the A-Class. Since then, more than five million customers have given their hearts to one of our seven SUV models. They now account for over a third of our total global sales, amounting to more than 540,000 units over the first eight months of this year alone more than ever before. And I can promise the model making its debut today will also be a heartbreaker, our all new GLE. You know, instant attraction tends to be more than just looks. It's also about the way someone moves. And just look at the way the GLE dances over this track. This is thanks to our all new E active body control suspension. It's connected to the car's 48 volt system and controls spring tension and damping power individually at each wheel. No competitor offers anything like this. The result, while you still feel the rock and roll, there is no involuntary head banging. You'll also get unmatched driving comfort on the road. Remember the curve function from our S-Class and SL, where the car leans into turns like a motorcycle? You will come to appreciate this feature in our GLE 2, especially given the higher centrifugal forces of an SUV. By the way, the GLE also has some pretty unique moves. Well, perhaps I better clarify before anyone gets the wrong idea. Like a true gentleman, 
The GLE will graciously help you if you ever get stuck in the sand. With our free driving mode, the car almost jumps to move sand under its tires until you gain traction again. You see, the GLE is well suited to any adventure. And this includes the biggest one of all, family, and getting your loved ones safely from A to B. You know we're all about safety. We literally can't get enough of it. So you won't be surprised to hear that the GLE comes with our latest generation driving assistance systems. This includes the ability to detect traffic jams even earlier and automatically make room for emergency vehicles. Speaking of room, if you like, you can order the new GLE as a seven-seater. And thanks to the extended wheelbase, it offers a huge luggage space of up to 2,055 liters with all the seat backs folded down. Now, in the best relationships, you simply feel at home with each other. And I don't think you'll ever feel more at home in an SUV than in our new GLE. It pioneers our new interior design language and just look at the large touch screens for our MBUX. In the GLE, it offers about 40 new features. And even more importantly, it's incredibly easy to use since MBUX sets the benchmark in understanding what you want to do. As you probably know, it understands you with the help of Hey Mercedes, our natural language recognition. Our GLE, however, even understands you without words. Our all new interior assistant can intuitively react to your body language. Let's give you an impression. Now in fall, days are getting shorter. When you drive home from work, it's usually dark, but you just raise your hand to the mirror and the reading light will switch on. When you lean over to take something out of your briefcase on the passenger seat, the light will automatically illuminate that side. And when you move your hands towards the screen, the system will offer the most likely action depending on the selected menu. Naturally, it distinguishes between driver and passenger. And let me emphasize, this is not gesture control for which you will need to learn our own Mercedes sign language. It's an absolutely intuitive interpretation of how the car can support you in any given situation. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for a perfect match in the form of an SUV, the Geely is the one. It's smart, it's perceptive, and of course, it's a beauty. See for yourself.
Ladies and gentlemen, our new Mercedes-Benz GLE. A real friend with benefits. Of course, this also applies to its drivetrain. Our electrified six-cylinder gasoline engine allows fuel savings that were previously in the realm of high-voltage hybrid technology. Plus, we're in the final steps of turning our GLE into a plug-in hybrid. Our goal, a pure electric range of up to 100 kilometers. All in all, I think our lineup here in Paris underlines. We want to offer a perfect match for every customer. With the Mercedes of electric vehicles, our EQC, with our expanding and exciting compact range, and with the best SUV we have ever built. Thank you very much for your attention and enjoy the Paris Auto Show. Thank you.